my shots. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> My name is Alex Bertelli, and I'm a former Army Special Operations helicopter pilot and the CEO of Haven, the world's strongest smart lock. And my name is Clay Bakes. I'm the COO of Haven. We're from Nashville, Tennessee, and we're seeking $500,000 in exchange for 6% equity in our business. Six. Sharks, not long ago, Clay and I both experienced a series of break-ins in our neighborhoods. In reality, a break-in occurs every 18 seconds here in the United States. We quickly realize it doesn't matter if you lock your doors or not. The traditional deadbolt just isn't getting the job done. Let me show you. This is your standard deadbolt. While it may feel secure, when you lock it, an experienced intruder can get in in about five kicks. Alex, show them how easy this is. Come on, Alex, kick it hard. <laughs> Come on, Alex. Oh, uh, looks. Uh, Come on, looks. Alex, kick it. How much you sell the deadlocks for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks like we don't need to buy this product. <laughs> oh! oh. Hey, oh. There you go. Oh, you get mad now. Oh, it actually. Oh. Oh. A break-in occurs every 18 <laughs> seconds in the United States. The doorknob's about to fall. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, Are you OK? <laughs> this isn't going well. Are you... Typically, a break-in can happen in less than two minutes in the United States. One in 36 homes in America will have a break-in. Smart locks based at the deadbolt are no better. Alex? Sure. <laughs> We're going to show you how it works. As you can tell, I'm not an experienced Are you okay? intruder. Oh. I'm good. Okay. But show them how Haven works, Clay. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Haven sits at the bottom of the floor, the right next ever. to the existing threshold. When activated, the wedge-based barrier lifts up. Using simple physics, this makes your entire door 10 times stronger to preventing home break-ins. To use it, you simply step on the gate to open the door. To shut the door, you lock it with the gate with the foot pedal, and you can see there's no deadbolt here, right? So, Alex, show them how it goes. <laughs> 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 Alex, you're going to Do the fly kick, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sharks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, my God. He finally got it. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we don't give up. All right. That's wow. right. We don't right. give up. Haven service. Oh, Absolutely. Oh, my Haven God. is still standing strong. How much money have you raised, and how much debt do you have? We've raised $1.5 million. Oh, Here it that's comes. a lot. Wow. And how much debt do you have, if any? We have uh, two uh, investors with a convertible note debt of a uh, total of $500,000. There we go. Are you two the sole owners? We currently own 25% each, and then we have investors on top of that with additional equity to sell. So the school situation, what is it that you have underway with schools? Tell them about the purchase order we got in Arkansas. So in, in Melbourne, Arkansas, we installed three locks about a month ago. They had an open house. The parents loved it. The next day, I got a call from the superintendent and said, I've got 94 classrooms left to do in this school. I want to put in an order. That's nice. a big order. Did, they order, order. did they order 94? Yes, ma'am. What are you going to do with the money? Sure. So our biggest problem is inventory, simply. So we're going to use part of your investment to go out and scale inventory with our suppliers. Guys, look, I think what you've done is brilliant. Mark, let's, let's do a deal. But the challenge is that your economics are awful. Your margins are awful to support what you, we're, what you need to do. We're just starting our manufacturing. We have made 2,000 locks and got those into the customers. We paid way over for those first 2,000. We're not going to pay that for the next 10,000 or the next 20,000. I think you're going to have a pretty hard time figuring out how to get to scale and figuring out what works and what doesn't. I don't want to be part of the journey. I'm sorry. I'm out. Thank you for Thank your, you for your I time. I think you have a huge mountain to climb and something that I don't think we'd get our money back. So for me, I'm out. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you for your the time. Pitch. Yeah, guys, I just think it's going to be difficult, particularly from a cash flow perspective. It's going to take you raising your price, you know, to generate the margins until your costs come down. And even then, the, the margins just aren't there, guys. I'm out. Sure.
I think this is really smart. The problem for me is I like to really understand a product when I invest in it, and you might be too early. I can't invest at this point, so I'm sorry. I'm out. Thank you very much for your time. You know what? Come on, Dame, let's do a deal. I'm very interested in it, but sometimes it's, it's what's in the best interest for the entrepreneur, too. I can give you a shark deal, then you may have to raise more capital, and then you get diluted. Well, give them something to start with. What do you Let want them to decide. Yeah. The, the only reason we're here is to get one of you on this team to guide us, to mentor us, to get us into distribution opportunities and help scale our costs down. We want you on this team. You're not going to like what I'm going to say, because me taking more of the company than you own is not in your best interest, and I need you to be a little selfish for yourself. So I'm not gonna give you an offer, I'm out. Thank you, Damon. Thank you, Sharks. Good, Good luck, guys. guys, congratulations. I, I am definitely a customer, sure. though. The golden ticket goes to my favorite product. I've made you a good offer. That's what I'm talking about. That is the winner. Riding all the way to the bank, baby! Yeah. You've come to the right place.